What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a continuation video on low back pain. Uh, so this is going to be part two. Uh, if you haven't seen part one yet, please uh, do so. I'll link it up here because uh, this is going to be stuff to do in case part one has not worked for you yet. So uh, check it out. I look forward to getting into it. All right, let's get into this. So in part one, we discussed what to do, self-treatment options for your lumbar spine, low back. Um, they included heating the tissue, um, mobilizing or stretching the muscles around the lumbar spine and strengthening the musculature around to get an external brace uh, and provide some stability to the, to the area. <clears throat> so now what we want to get into is some other options in case, number one, if if it hasn't worked at all, which which it really should be, if if no matter what your condition, if it's acute back pain or chronic, part one should have provided some relief. Uh, but now I want to get into some of the over-the-counter medications and things you can do to supplement uh, the exercises, the stretching, and the heating, which you should continue to do so. Okay. So the first one is going to be over-counter medication. Um, the research supports a combination of acetaminophen and NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, okay? Uh, some examples of acetaminophen is like Tylenol, okay? Uh, an example of an NSAID would be, you know, ibuprofen, Motrin, Aleve, things of that nature, okay? The, so, so I always say the research, you know, some people find relief with Tylenol, some people find relief from an NSAID, but really, most people provide uh, fine relief from a combination of the both. Now, that doesn't mean that you should just be popping a ton of pills uh, and because that's going to put a pretty big strain on um, your kidney function and liver and things of that nature. But if you, if you do a controlled dosage for a controlled amount of time um, while doing the heating, the stretching, and the exercises, you can get back pain relief quicker, okay? So my recommendation to a lot of the athletes that I that I'm burning my care is to take one Tylenol that's usually around 500 milligrams of acetaminophen, and then usually one or two, um, we'll say ibuprofen. They're usually 200 milligrams each, so they, they, they fluctuate a little bit. So by no means a pharma uh, pharmacologist here, but one Tylenol, one or two ibuprofen or NSAID. Um, at the same time, um, usually twice a day. Okay, so that's not even where that's not really close to the maximal limits of either of those for, for daily usage, uh, but it can be enough to kind of help you get over the hump pain-wise. Uh, the second thing that I recommend is going to be diagnostic imaging. So now, obviously, if you're if you're in this boat, you you have a little bit more of a serious chronic uh, back injury or condition. But the reason for it is not necessarily to jump right into surgery or surgical intervention. It's to find out exactly what is going on inside your back. So there's many issues that could be going on. But if you find out exactly where, we'll say, your herniated disc is herniated, if, if it's going out the back, we do some exercise to push it forward. If it's going out the front, we do some exercise to help it push it back, um, and, and so forth. So sometimes the... You know, a couple hundred dollars, maybe even a thousand dollars it costs to get diagnostic imaging can then help your physical therapist, your athletic trainer, your rehab specialist design a program that's better suited for you because we can work specifically towards your injury. OK, so that's really important. Um, and the third thing that I recommend, and this is pretty much for any back injury. I mean, I might eat my words a little bit, but is traction. OK. So our spine is loaded constantly with compression, compression, compression. Anytime you can get access to an inversion table or a traction table or something like that, even aquatic workouts, swimming, um, that's going to provide tr uh, traction or decompression of the spine. Uh, and that, those, that's a really good situation for your back. Um, if you do wind up having a, an instability there, I'll eat my words a little bit. You don't want to you don't want to overdo the traction or overdo the, the inversion table, but um, but most of the time, 
uh, it's it's safe to at least try some traction, some over-the-counter medication, and if you need to, diagnostic imaging. Okay, so this is part two. Uh, but if you want if you want some advice, check out part one. But again, over-the-counter meds, diagnostic imaging, and traction, uh, and hopefully this helps you further relieve your back of uh, of your pain. If you guys uh, enjoyed this, please subscribe. Please leave comments below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.